y'all welcome back to my channel why did you get on here today and talk about workouts again I had some requests to do what I'm doing now at the gym and also what I would do if I was at home I'm gonna do both of those in one video and I'm gonna start with what I'm doing now I'll categorize these down below my gym is gonna be real fast I do the same thing all the time I do cardio and I do weights I do five cardios a week 45 minutes at a time or whenever the mood lift hits. And I always push to at least get a light sweat. And I do three weight workouts. And most of those are pump. It's a class called Les Mills Pump body pump and I do it at the gym you can buy those though y'all I got a bunch of those off eBay now they are pricey so you just kind of have to keep your eyes open there's over a hundred releases here's the number of the release I like anything the 80s and on a couple in the 70s so you can get on eBay and look for these and do them at home you just have to get weights barbell and you can do those at home that's what I do and if I miss body pump one of those times I do free weights or I do circuit training the little machines always five cardios three weights and that's what I do at the gym like that it's pretty simple I did not get my gym membership because I was getting bad results at home I was getting fine results at home I joined the gym for the social because I quit working I needed to see human beings <laughs> during the day if it was just the person at the desk but I've Find results at home so I'm gonna give you what I would do if I came back home for my cardio I would get another treadmill probably I got my last one at a garage sale I would get a piece of cardio equipment or I'm gonna show y'all my favorite cardio queen Kathy Friedrich this is step y'all if you start out with these be careful of your knees these are low impact but oh my gosh they're hard these are great my body pump you can get the this less mills on on demand on your computer and then hook it up to your tv they have a bunch of classes body pump cardio classes ab classes they've got a bunch of classes so on demand yoga on demand on youtube tons of videos on youtube my niece loves a girl named whitney simmons she does great weight workouts i think the best way if you're going to be lifting weights at home the best way to start is with a dvd because of form tips they give so many form tips this little whitney simmons girl on YouTube that my niece likes, I asked her, does she give form tips? And she said, always. She's always giving form tips. So I'm going to give y'all the exercises I would be doing if I was lifting weights at home. But you might start with a YouTube video. So they can tell you shoulders back and down, where to look to get your neck in the right position. That's real important. So maybe start with a DVD, a YouTube video, and then go out on your own. I'm going to show you what I would be doing. I would be hitting every body part twice a week at least all the way to failure failure means where you can't get it up anymore you're doing buys this muscle you're doing triceps which we all want to get rid of your chest and when I say chest I'm not talking about the chest not going to change a lot there unless you're losing or gaining a bunch of weight I tell you where the chest works now it does firm this up I tell you what you're looking at with chest right here this right here is my favorite that's what firms up with me on the chest okay your back I neglect my back totally unless I'm at pump abs and legs three exercises for every body part I'm gonna do a demonstration for buys you can google more exercises when you get tired of these I would be doing 10 pound weights start with three fives and sevens if you're just starting out I have threes five sevens twelves and fifteens when I do biceps I'm usually working with ten right now because I'm not that strong and my first exercise would just be coming straight up I'm coming straight up and I'm gonna do that to failure which for me with this weight is about 10 to 12 I found through trial and error that's my first exercise I'm gonna do that 10 to 12 times I'm gonna stop I'm gonna rest and let my muscles recover a little bit for about 30 seconds then I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna do 10 to 12 of those again then I'm gonna rest 30 seconds then I'm gonna do it again okay and I'm gonna do three different exercises my next exercise I would do for biceps okay, I'm gonna stand up I've got my arm right here I'm gonna twist it as I come up that works just a little bit different muscle that's my second exercise I'm gonna do that three times resting between each set if this is clear as mud <laughs> Google it 
I have a hard time saying it because I have a hard time grasping it. Okay, then I'm gonna leave my um, wrist hanging straight and I'm gonna come straight up and I'm not gonna twist it at all. That's called a hammer curl. And I'm gonna do that 10 to 12 times and I'm gonna do it three times. Those are the three exercises I'm doing for biceps. Okay, then for triceps, my favorite exercises are kickbacks. Your bicep is a smaller muscle, so you use a smaller weight. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna go back. I've picked a weight that I can do 10 to 12 of those and I'm gonna do that three sets. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna rest, 10 to 12 more, I'm gonna rest, 10 to 12 more, I'm gonna rest. That's the first exercise. My second exercise is an overhead extension. I'm gonna get a 10 pound, I'm gonna go straight over and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it 10 to 12 times. I'm gonna do that 10 to 12 times, rest, and do that three times. That's my second exercise. My third tricep exercise would be dips or tricep push-ups. And dips are where you get on the edge of something and I don't have anything to show you. You get on the edge of something, you rest your hands, Google that, Google a dip. And you're gonna put your hands on something and then you're gonna lower and you're gonna lift with your triceps. And I'm gonna do three sets of those, okay? Or tricep push-ups is a push-up, like a normal push-up, but it's hands in. Google proper form on that. You can hurt your shoulders. So Google good form or do it with a DVD first. So these are always hard to me. Um, tricep push-ups, always hard. Those are the three exercises that I would do for my triceps. Okay, for chest, my favorite exercise is the push-up. It's the push-up. You cannot beat the push-up, and I do them mostly on my knees. When I'm real strong, I will do a man push-up on my toes. I did three times, and I do 10 of them, 10 to 12. Three times, resting be between each one. Okay, my next exercise I like for chest is flies. And that's where you're laying back with barbells in each hand and you're laid down on the ground with your whole back pressed down and you're coming up like this. Shoulders back and down. Even though you're, you know, you're working your chest, keep your shoulders down. And you're coming up like that. That's a fly from a laying position. My next favorite is a chest press and that's laying on your back with pretty heavy weight. I use like 12 to 15 in each hand and it's coming up like this from a laying position or with a barbell. I like to do this with a barbell too. Those are my three favorite chests. This right here is probably my favorite thing to develop. This and shoulders just make the prettiest arms. And I get that with chest and shoulders. I left out shoulders. I did not even mention shoulders. We're gonna work shoulders too. I'm gonna write that down. I can't believe I didn't mention shoulders. Y'all should fire me as your trainer. <laughs> Again, I'm not a trainer. Okay, um, back. I'm gonna say Google back exercises. I'm horrible at working my back. I don't. That's why I go to pump because I don't push myself. Okay, abs, planks are the best. And I'm gonna do a plank back here. Okay, a plank is where you're down on the ground. You start on your forearms, keep your honey down and come up on your toes. You keep your shoulders back and down. Again, look up form, and you hold this. You hold that for varying, t as long as you can. I hold it as long as the pump instructor tells me to. I would say start out with 30 seconds and see how that goes. I also like just a crunch. You know, just crunches. I like reverse crunches where you're pulling your honey up. You look up good ab exercises. My favorite ab exercise that pulls this in faster than anything I've ever done in my life. It's a side plank, and I will show you that. I should have done it while I was down there. Okay, you're gonna get on your side, keep your shoulders down, you can hurt your shoulders, and come up like this. And then you just keep lifting this, keep this lifted up, and you can pulse it if you want. A lot of times they have us hold an arm up, sometimes they have you lift a leg up, and that's a side plank. That is real effective. Okay, shoulders. Okay, my favorite are these. I don't even know what these are called. Um, side raises. You don't come above your shoulder. I'll give you that pointer. And you keep your shoulders back and down. Those are great. And to make it harder, 
You don't go up higher, you go out straighter. Then the overhead press, be careful on an overhead press. Do too much overhead, you're gonna hurt your neck. I'll just tell you that right now. I, you know, my neck always feels a little tight, but overhead presses, I usually do these with a barbell. I'm getting to work out today, y'all. Overhead presses, side raises. I would tell you these are great. I'm real careful right now because my shoulder's tweaked. These are good, do not come up too high. Please look up form. And then rear flies, this is kind of a back exercise. Coming on the, up like this. Again, be super careful, keep your shoulders back and down, look up form. Okay, leg exercises. My favorite are squats. I keep a two by four at home. That makes it so much easier on your knees and I have short Achilles. It really, you put your two by four down. You don't have to, but this is a great way to start a squat. Let me scoot it back. Rest your heels on it. I should always do that. I don't always. And then just go down in a squat. You cannot beat a squat for legs. It works, you know, everything. Then lunges. Practice good form, you can ruin a knee with a lunge. I always do dips because they're easier on my knees. And a dip is just a lunge backwards. And it is back and go slow at first, you know, till you get it. Because I'm telling you, these are crazy good. Back, down, up, and then, you know, singles. If you're not steady, hang on to something. But you also can just do a static where you just stay back and go up and down. If you're doing a right, it's gonna be all back here and you'll feel it a little bit in your quad. My last really, really good one, I should do more of these. On my cedar chest, on a chair, I have a box. I think this is 14 or 16 inches. Something tall, something sturdy. Put your foot in the middle of it, come down and up. And be sure you're not feeling it in your knee. Be sure you're feeling it back here, where we want to live in Dutton. Those are my favorite at home moves. I can guarantee you, you will get gym results at home if you're lifting weights at home. There's no difference. Anytime you get bored, Google new moves and change your music. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. If I have, I'm going to put it down below. If you have any questions or comments, put those down there. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.